So this is for the resetting the system password. System password, I means system user. So for this one, there is a procedure here. There is a procedure. What we have to do, we need to stop the database. First of all, all the process. Then go to the CD exe. So CD exe, we have to go to there. Then there, once you go to there, then we need to execute the one command like, so dot slash hdb name server, name server space, so reset, reset, so user system, reset user system. So then if you use this command, so this will ask the, after the some notifications appears, it will ask the new passwords. Then we have to execute the new passwords here. So outcome is we can reset the password here. That is the, the main thing here. We have to do that work. So that will work here, right? So that is the that is the password reset procedure here, right? So after that tenant, we can reset it out. So this is the after that tenant, we can reset it out. Main thing is the so this is the password here. We have to do that work. So it will ask it after some time, it will ask the so please provide the so password of please provide the password of the uh, password, set the password, new password, everything it will ask us. So we have to provide the password here. So let me show you once again. So let me cancel the session. So if you see control session, the session will be canceled here. Yeah. So the main thing is that Yana system should be stopped status here. Then we can we can use this one here. So in middle we have cancelled right. So that's why. So it is interrupted. It is interrupted. The middle. So in the line X, if you just press the control C, it is cancelled status here. It is cancelled status. So cancel. Control C means cancel here. Something is running immediately. That will be cancelled status here. So if you wait for some time. So then, so it will ask the new password and just confirm the password, but we cancel it to start from the scratch. So, so it is to come to normal, it will stop the status Then go to here, go to root user. Well, because we are not sure what is the password of the V that system, what that ART system. So now what we are doing here, we are resetting the password. We are resetting the password here. Uh, so ART area, then CD exe, then dot slash HDB name server, HDB name server. So iPhone reset user user system reset user system here so we have to execute this one already this process is executing here okay something it is running here so this is executing already so that is the reason so it is uh waiting 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 for that process to be completed in the middle we interrupted so i think it's coming here stopping mm -hmm. okay let me execute now again so reset user system yes you see now new password is asking the new password then confirm the new password the activation of the user is done simple see here password is password is activated here right so now we can start the hana database here now we can start the hana database then connect to the show system user here so small concept only command you have to execute it but before executing you need to stop the database database we have to stop it here right so here so what is the host name so kps4 hana right instance number 91 right 
So here we have reset the password, right? System user password, we have reset it out. So now we can log in now here, right? See, it's connected, ARD system you connected, right? So this is the way we can reset the password of the user, we can log in, right? So this is the so way we can reset the password. In case of password is failure, something forgot, then we can reset the password. Now we can connect it to the, the ART system, we connect here. Right. So this is the way. So what we can do now, we can rename it and we can change the status to the we can just actually be something like that. We can rename it here. Right. So let me rename it here. We can also do the rename HDB our own uh, database SID. We can change it so that everybody please connect to the same database HDB. Then we can use it. OK, so this is what we can do that one. So for 10 NDB also, the password has changed for mm. index serve. Oh, then in this case, here we can change the, so here from system DB, we can, we can execute the queries, then we can change it. System DB, we can execute the queries, we can change the passwords here. System DB, we can execute the query, we can change it here. So simple here, here we have to execute the alter system, alter user system, alter so user system and uh, password password so new password we can change it here so password for tenant db we can change it here right so here that user so you can use this alter command so we can change it here suppose like so welcome one just you can change it so that that works here. See, it is changed here. So then we can log in. We can connect to the Unity DB as well. Otherwise, that OS level command also we can execute it here. So in this case, now what we have to do dot slash HDB something index server. I think HDB index server. I think we need to stop the database first. So HDB stop. So we need to stop the database. So commands also we can execute it either query or commands also we can execute it so okay. we, we can go to so we can stop it first of all main thing is we need to stop it if you want to execute anything we have to stop it okay so let's try hdb index server okay reset reset user system reset user system final memory given arguments there is a, any open process we need to check nothing is there ART AD. if the database is up then we will get this type of case so database is not up here so then sir that hyphen is not there it's hyphen is missing reset hyphen reset oh hyphen reset is it mandatory hmm. oh it is asking like so name server system database should be up and running. See here. So name server should be up and running here. So we can start the so we can start the system. That's fine. Otherwise, we can we have query query also we can execute multiple ways actually to perform these resets. So either whatever the query we executed, right? Same query we can execute it. Otherwise, we can start only system DB, then stop the tenant database. So we can stop the tenant database and we can execute. It. So let's see here. I will also I will tell you how to stop the only tenant database, how to stop only tenant database without stopping the system DB. So that is also we can do that. Part. Password. See, password we change it, right? So, welcome one. Okay. 
So it is started. Let's log off. So what is the password again? The password is missing. Welcome one. Wait, everything is gone now. Again, we'll do the reset, full reset. Same. No, oh, we need to stop first. Yeah, without stopping, we cannot. So always stop the database. We're forgetting. See, so that is very important. We have to stop and so we need to reset it. Same procedure. Okay, this is done. So name server reset. So without start, first system should be stopped status here. Then it will ask the password. See. So then. Oh, hold the password. Okay. Last five passwords we should not use it. We need to use the new password again. Means same password, we should not use it. We should give the user new password. So, new password confirm. Yes. It's done. Okay. So, it's done. So then start the database. See, it is connected now. Okay, this is connected completely. So go to the command prompt mode. So only stop in that any database, alter system, stop. So database, database name, A R T, right? So then only tenant database. Just if you execute it, only tenant will be stopped here. Only the tenant will be stopped here. So, so that is what only tenant will be stopped. Now, if you execute the HDB info. So see, only name server, compile server, access engine, diamond, this is running. Tenant means access engine, index server. That will be stopped status here. See, that is stopped status here. Only tenant is stopped. Only if you want to start the tenant, only you can start the tenant. So now see, only system DB is up, tenant down, right? So like that, we can, we have some commands actually. So if you use these commands, so it will be started. Starting, just you can use it here, right? So you have the multiple tenants are there. We want to stop only one tenant. If you execute the HDB stop, all will be stopped, including system DB. Remaining two tenants also will be stopped status. In that case, 
how can we avoid stopping the additional tenants so manually we can connect to the system db then only execute the stop command start commands these commands we can execute it okay so this is the way so same way you can connect to the so you can connect to the so tenant database also here whatever the passwords so you can connect to the tenant database also here Oh, I stopped the tenant database. Then how can we access the tenant database, right? So we can start it again. We can start the tenant database. We can start it. So what you can do, the ART database is there. Please rename this to, please rename this database to the HDB00 instance number 00. Okay. Then same will be used by others as well. So just change the database SID from ART to and uh, 00, whatever the same method, whatever ART to and HDB. That instance number 91 to 00, you can change it. Set the standard password, our password. Then same as, so then we can, uh, everybody will use the HDB database. Okay, that is what you have to go in. Sir, if you change the system DB password, the same password will affect to tenant database also? Uh, yeah, sometimes it will affect, uh, yeah, that will affect. But try, you can try that one. Okay. Affect that one. Okay, you can use these commands, so it will affect. Sir, if I have multiple tenants, uh, how can we con uh, confirm the particular tenant to stop? So you have the tenant SID, right? Each tenant, there is a SID, right? Yeah. So then we have, you need to provide just SID, you have to provide it. ABC, ABC tenant, you have to provide it. So each tenant, how to confirm means you will come to know, right? Which tenant is having the issue, you need to restart it. So that tenant database SID, you need to keep it here. Just only change the SID that only the particular tenant will be stopped status. Okay. 